Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill 10 Rats. Welcome back to Celestian Tales Old North. We are in the war camp and we are probably about to meet a few people here. But first off, uh, thanks for your feedback regarding my question whether the situations that you can encounter in the game get handled somewhat differently depending on um, what your actual player character is and so far I'm happy to report that this is definitely a thing where uh, for instance um, Lucian gets different options uh, at the bandit encounter in Orsi and so does Camille. That's the two that I've managed to establish so far. I uh, hope I'm not forgetting anyone. So thanks for, for leaving a comment. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for your feedback in that regard. I was somewhat um, yeah, just, just curious um, what the what the game would actually do, like how, how the game handles this sort of thing and I'm pleased to hear that there is actually a sort of an an actual impact on um, your main character choice that goes beyond just having scenes uh, outside of the main quest but also influences how the main quest actually goes. Now let's have a quick run around here and see who we can talk to and what they're gonna say. Welcome to the war camp, Master Isaac. If you'd like to take a rest, your tent is on the northwestern part of the camp. Hmm, okay. Maybe we're supposed to have a rest. Greetings, squires. My name is Edis and I'm the army's blacksmith. I can turn your weapons into masterpieces, but it's hard to do in a limited space like this. Mm-hmm. Well... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so she can... Upgrade weapons. We should probably do that as much as we can. That sounds like a good plan. Be safe out there, squires. Your weapons might be sharp, but it's no reason to let your guard down. Anything we can do with our armor as well? Are you an armorer? My name is Sasha and I'm the army's equipment requisitioner. I offer items better than standard issue ones for those concerned with their safety for a price. Hmm. Nah. It's been pleasant business, etc, etc. Yes, yes, we'll be back. Hello. A LaRue soldier. When I was scouting a few days ago, I encountered the Great Giant. And that day, I learned that there are other ways to solve a problem than violence. Who the hell's the Great Giant? And what's going on now? Cutscene time, I guess. Honored father, why art thou here? Greetings, loyal daughter. Art thou of good health? Oh my god. Yes, father, though I have heard nary a word of thee joining the march north. When all three bladebearers have converged, tis only befitting for us to tender aid as well. The talents of the Inquisition will no doubt be of use against the adversaries. That sounds ominous. I see. And brother too? Of course, Arya, I am an Inquisitor myself. It's just natural that I go where my pack goes, no? Hmm. Abel, eh? And you're a brother? I foresee no good things in your future. We haven't seen each other for a while, haven't we, sister? Mm, that's not how people talk. How's the squiring going for you? Do you count the number of people you've killed? Mm. So he's the sympathetic one in the family. Still timid, I see. Good girl. Should you kill the man? Is that what the day has ordered? Are you doing the right thing? Oh dears, how I love that conflicted face of yours. Be quiet, brother. What's that, sister? Did you just talk back? And that glare, are you angry at me, hmm? At your own brother? Shut up, I'm tired of hearing your senseless babbles. Huh? Who are you, mongrel? How dare a commoner talk to me like that? Commoner? I'll give you a chance to take those words back. Do it now while you still have a mouth. Who do you think you are to order me around, filthy dog? I am Abel of the Geraldine. You should apologize to me, else I'll flay you for your insolence. Oh, I so wish he'd just step up now so we could spank him around a little. Tell me, Abel Geraldine, do you prefer to be strangled like a pig? Like the pig you are, or beaten to a pulp? Enough of this circus. Ye both are grown nobles, act like it. Father, what are you saying? Let me handle this dirty mutt myself. What was that? Come here and fight me fairly, you prick. <laughs> uh, 
Do you prefer to hide behind your daddy and whine like a kid, scum? Enough, Master Renard. Certainly the heir of House de la Forêt is wise enough, wise enough to have patience, is he not? To provoke another noble, even spouting such crude taunts. Me provoking? He started all this. I thought Lord Gaston de la Forêt was more than a brute, but if this is how he has taught his son? Perhaps my choice of words in the courts should change when I speak of thy house. Oh, we should just cut both of these idiots to pieces. Huh, fine. Good, I'm glad we have settled this. Now, I'm sure you have matter to attend to. We shall leave ye squires alone. This isn't over yet, mongrel. Oh, I sh you bet it isn't. Uh, <laughs> In the end, they didn't even say a word of apology. What a family. Hmm, indeed. I thoroughly apologize, Renard. My brother can be a little unstable at times. Eh, it wasn't your fault, Aria. I'm sure Renard wouldn't mind. Though I wonder how a man with his impairment can qualify as an inquisitor. Must be his father's influence with the church that got him in. Mm, yeah, he strikes me as a bit of a psychopath. I uh, didn't mean... Uh, this fine, Camille. Much as I loathe it, truth shall be spoken as is. I apologize again for whatever trouble they may cause ye. Hmm. Arya's father really knows his way with words, doesn't he? Even Renard can be stopped so quickly. Huh, he brought my father and my family's name into this. It wasn't fair. Fairness doesn't seem to matter to them. We shouldn't get in any trouble with him. I agree. Let's forget them and look for Sir Arthur. All right. Renard, huh? Thank you for standing up for me. Hey, no problem, princess. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Interesting encounter there. Uh, wonder what that's building up to. If anything, did I just find a better weapon after upgrading the one I have? Probably. Oh well, what are you? Uh, okay, they are apparently guarding the tents of the important people. Uh, what are you? Where are we going? Lord Severin, Lady Belenus, and Senator Rosaval are currently having a meeting. Unless you have something terribly important to convey, please do not bother them. Well, we probably don't have anything to say to them anyway. Uh, where are we going then? What are you? Mingle not with us common soldiers, noble squires. Tis divine fate that thou were born as a higher caste. Lowering thine self is disrespecting the deus' will. You guys are pretty screwed in the head, I have to say. Should be interesting to have uh, Arya as the starting character and figure out how that goes. What are you? Oh, it's a story. Squires, it's good to see you again. As you can see, Lord Levant himself isn't joining the army. I'm here on his behalf, but I don't think it gives the same impact for the soldiers. I hope Lord Severin can keep up the morale. It won't be an easy task even for him. Well... Whoops, is that Arthur or... Ah, it is. Jeez, long time no see, squires. Are you the scouts the Lord General sent? That's right. Huh, alright, I guess you'll do. Lord General Severin asked for an overall assessment of the surrounding area. For that we need to look at things from higher ground, and that place would be the Needle. The Needle? It's a tall peak pointing north. The name comes from its long pointed shape. That would indeed be a good vantage point to see the whole White Plains. Oh ho, you studied the maps well, I see. I, I just enjoy reading, sir. To reach the Needle, you must go northwest until you find the Grey Forest. The rocky path leading to the Needle can be found within the forest. But be careful, a fierce large beast roams the Grey Forest. Ha, huh, I don't fear any beast. You should, with this one the Grey Giant is fierce and formidable. It's blind, but has very, very sharp hearing. We must step lightly then, to not make any noise that awakens it. What? Let's just draw its attention and hit it with all we have. Hmm. I'm sure the show I'm sure the soldiers will appreciate some more meat in their dinner. You wanna eat a giant? Please, Renard. If you'd like to tempt death, don't ask us to tag along. Listen to me, squires. No matter what happens, don't fight with the grey giant. You may think that you're strong, but believe me, you're not ready yet. Hmm. I wonder if we should heed that warning. I wish you luck, squires. Luck we doth not need, only the Deus. Oh god. Literally. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll pop a quick save in and then uh, be on our merry way to the northwest to, I guess, travel around the world map some more. 
I suspect that's what they want us to do. And head into that forest, I suppose. At least, you know, I anticipate this is where we're heading. Or is this just an adjacent area right now? Oh, okay, there it is. Grey Forest and the Needle. I think we've been down the south west before. Yeah, that's Granobola. And then, what else? The Emerald Forest, Farblade. Hmm, lots and lots of places to go and see, apparently. Right, oh, we can save here as well. Well done, me! Well, can never be sure. So, better safe than sorry. Literally, again, save. Haha. <laughs> so funny. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, the wolf is hollering at us. That's uh, an interesting use of terminology there. Let's tyrannize the wolf and... Okay, you are... Uh, Probably just okay with attacking. We should use a shatter again. And see that we can get them down quickly. But yeah, I'm just like sort of curious how much of the content you have is actually um, variable with um, your choice of main character. It's. From what I hear, Lucien has some divergent scenes that uh, fight you hear about with um, Renard that they mention uh, in, in one of the earlier conversations that actually happens if you play as Lucien or as Renard, I would suspect. So there's definitely some, um, some additional scenes that happen outside of the regular narrative that are just referenced. But... Uh, I wonder how much of the main quest content is actually um, just diversity content where, where your choice of character makes it a big deal. It sounds like a bit of a nightmare with, with like six characters, so I can't imagine it's it's huge amount. On the other hand, it's not voiced, so considering the amount of like writing necessary, I think what, what slows this sort of thing down in, in gaming at the moment is just the, the need for, for full voice acting in many uh, in many dev studios so you don't get that many divergent storylines anymore or, or not that many conversation choices or, or uh, just that depth of dialogue. And maybe they, they managed to pull it off in this game. I might be very pleased if, if uh, that could be confirmed. But, you know, it's it's definitely already noticeable that your um, that your main character is more than just flavor, at least. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it definitely seems to have more of an impact to how you are um, being treated or, or how the, the main quest goes for you. But, you know, the, the extent of it, it's, it's hard to gauge. Anyhow, won another battle. That is fine and dandy. Now let's... We have to cross into here. Curious what that grey giant thing uh, is, like how that is supposed to go. Oh, what are these? You are... What are you? Uh, pucks, okay. You are pucks. Interesting. Hmm. Some sort of uh, reference to Midsummer Night's Dream. Perhaps I'm not sure where where the puck originates. If it's actually that play, or whether it's a, a sort of a common mythology source. No idea. Oh, someone seems to be confused. Hmm, what's happening right now? We have oh, we're blinded and silenced. Wow, that's not good. Hmm, never mind. Wow, you are mad at this apparently. But we can't use skills anymore, and we're getting a pretty hefty hit modifier, I would suppose. Not that it seems to slow down Isaac any. <laughs> well done. Okay. Hmm, where do we want to go? Guess we'll go this way. Uh, more wolfies. Hmm. No, 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 no. Battlefield Tyrant, please. More tyranny, never a bad thing in this game, oddly enough. Uh, right, let's take him down from the top, I guess. 
Primal charge. Ouch, that hurt. But the weapon upgrade seems to have manifested itself in some rather nice damage. That's already noticeable. Like, even the non-crit damage on Isaac is pretty remarkable at this point. Good thing we've brought our healer, since we're also taking more damage from the enemies. And the bleed effect is always pretty nasty. But she's also doing a nice bit of damage when she crits, like around 400. That's definitely nothing to be sneezed at. The combat, I'm not sure what to think about it. Like, it does get a little repetitive and... I think that's sort of a hallmark of the genre, I guess, because it's it's just how this JRPG-style combat goes down. The, the casts that you can apply add a little bit of complexity, and I think your, your potential to swap out other party members also can mix it up a little. On, on the other hand, I think this is sort of the cookie-cutter party that we're running right now, which is just sort of the strongest combination at least for the lower levels and uh, like I just don't see any mm, any good way to replace Lucien I think that's maybe one way to, to put it um, it's like why, why would you not go with her since she's sort of the, the, the tanky one uh, I also think avoiding combat is not the greatest choice oh we actually have uh, another um, Heavy armor. Maybe we should put that on Arya after this fight is through. Let's go for protect. No, actually, no, that's not. She's up anyway, right away. They're not gonna kill her in one turn. Oh, they did apply a bleed though. That's not nice. Well, let's just see to get some damage down. Oh, they have bleed on everyone now. Fortunately, we also have benediction, so we should probably swap area to healing so they don't fall over let's just get this done and top everyone back up again that works and you go and attack there we go now they are focusing our tank again which is how it should be but yeah it's it's sort of I don't know what to what to think about it I don't really mind this combat system even though I I much prefer some sort of isometric battlefield where I can move my my uh, troops around a little. But you know, like I, like I mentioned before, I don't have a, a massive amount of experience with JRPGs as a genre. I have owned a PlayStation One in the past, and I have played Final Fantasy VII. I haven't finished it, if memory serves, but I played it when it came out, so it's been a while. Um. Uh, I can't say I didn't enjoy it. I, I definitely think um, that game had a sort of an added element to it, if memory serves, where you had these uh, summons that you could use that also made things a little more versatile. But, eh, you know, if you add a little gimmick like that with uh, either having a, a variable party that you can, um, that, that just levels up uh, through one experience pool so no one ever gets uh, left behind then uh, you do have a nice a nice way of making things a little more interesting in the long run. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. And it's poison resistance as well. Okay, so everyone's got a nice suit of armor now. Let's just avoid these guys because we've already killed them once. And I think it's this way then? Or did we come this way? Oh, oh god, we got caught. Uh, this isn't good. This might actually be a problem. These guys are somewhat annoying. Mm. I should probably re-examine Isaac's uh, abilities as well. But uh, so far... Mm. Oh wow, nice. So far we've been doing alright. In, in the battles at least. Oh, and one's already down. Okay, that seems... That seems fair. And Lucien is... Uh, who's all impaired? Okay, blinded and silenced. Yeah. Uh, the silence isn't good. But uh, I think we can outlive them. Hopefully. Oh god, that wasn't great. Mm. Okay, still silenced. 
One down, very good. And nice damage. Okay. We should come out ahead, even though Lucien is going a little low, but there we are. All right. Let's just have a quick peek at uh, his abilities. Is there any other active skill that we can do? Pointed thrust or burst attack? Deals damage with a good chance to inflict poison for three turns. That seems good. Let's actually swap that out here. Because it's a one... Uh, it's a one attack, um, one use attack that um, that enables us to enables us to apply poison. She gets a damaging attack. I don't think that's really a problem. Do we have a new passive? We have actually. Does Isaac have a new passive as well? Exploit. He does. Okay. Very nice. And what about you? Anything here? Power Surge. Deals damage to target enemy, reduces target stamina to zero. Mm. Aggressive stance. Oh, that's good. That's very good. She's gotten even more tanky. Am I going the wrong way? No, I don't think so. We haven't been here. Oh, hello there. Whoopsie. And we have a, a bit of a mix now. Okay, let's just... Get the taunt rolling in, and I guess we'll try to poison the puck if we can. Uh, the defense is bugging me a little bit though. Mm, let's see if Isaac can apply the poison. Uh, was it burst attack? No, it was pointed thrust. Let's see. Okay. Did that actually... Mm, apparently not, I don't think. You do anything? No, we, we need to... We need to keep your stamina for Battlefield Tyranny. And now we're out of an opportunity to... To cast again, I think. That's really unfortunate. Oh, shit. I was actually not aware I was controlling my healer. I thought I had... I thought I had Isaac, I could have healed there, and now we're in trouble. Ugh, god damn it. Um, she is probably gonna go down. Uh, okay, you can still heal. You are not silenced. That is rather fortunate for me. Okay. Holla, holla, holla. And one down. Okay, that was the first one where I was like, oops, I think I made a mistake and it's going to come and bite me. If not in the ass, then in the tank NPC, uh, not NPC, player character, I guess, party member. Right, there we have it. Victory again, and the leveling curve really doesn't slow down all that much, apparently. We are pretty much flying through levels here. See if we miss anything. Doesn't seem to. Now, hopefully we're not going to run afoul of any grey giants here. There's another crate. Uh, let's pick it up. Okay. And another battle. Ooh, woof. I don't like you guys. Um, let's see if we can defend. And... To a pointed thrust at one of them. All right, she's poisoned. That's good. And now we'll do tyranny. Hopefully that'll help a little. Okay. All right, the poisoned one is on the warpath. Let's see if we can bring it down. Do another poison attack on the other one. I wonder how much damage that's actually doing per turn, but, you know, it's it's definitely... Oh, 73. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I can dig it. Um, you go for the other puck again. So are you. Oh, God. Now it's getting a bit of a race against time. So we don't lose our tank because we can't heal anymore and we're actually blinded. 
Um, okay, that that was helpful. And uh, that wasn't. <laughs> Ooh, okay, please do damage. More of this. Oh god. How long do these status effects actually last? Oh, okay. I think we're no longer... I think we're no longer silenced. Yep. Okay. Very nice. That is a save. I think this is one of the situations where I'm just wondering how do you actually make do in this battle without having uh, Lucian tank for you, you know? Life leech. That sounds nice. I mean, I'm not sure how Renard works in, in combat, uh, whether he's uh, strong or, or survivable, but I get a feeling that he's not as sturdy. And that could be a problem. Uh, especially if you're up against something that keeps you from getting healed. Since uh, with, with um, Arya being able to cast, it's probably not all that bad, since she can crank out a pretty massive heal once every turn. But um, with the uh, ability to heal removed, it gets a little trickier. So yeah, it's, it is, it's, it's maybe superficially somewhat simple, but there's definitely some, some complexity under the hood with the combat system, or with the party composition system. And probably if you, like, I can't remember, do, I think there was a difficulty setting as well in the game? I'm, not, I'm playing too many games at the moment, I'm sorry if I get that mixed up, but if there is a difficulty setting and you can actually crank this up to some higher level of uh, damage intake and output, then it's probably really getting interesting at that point. Where it may not be as simple as just tanking and spanking anymore, because this is sort of, you know, the, 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 the low budget solution, I guess, where this just, this just sort of traditionally works. The, the Trinity setup with your, your tank healer DPS is just a pretty good way to, to beat these battles. But, you know, what, is it still going to work if, if things get harder or do you have more of a DPS raise on your hand then? I'm kind of curious. On the other hand, I mean, Lucien's damage isn't bad. You know, that sort of makes her somewhat uh, almost like overpowered because her damage output is pretty much... Not on par with what Isaac's doing, but definitely not bad. Right, let me look, have a quick look at the clock. Yeah, we're running on for half an hour, so I am going to leave it here and create a new save game. We will try to make our way to our lookout point next time. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you then, and bye for now.